Hi, Lucy Ross here, director at ecommercemarketing.co.nz with the Shopify tutorial on how to format your blog post using the WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. Uh, I find some of my clients aren't used to using this kind of an editor. They know how to get the information in there, but when it comes to formatting, they, they generally leave it. And here's a prime example. You can see one here, which is sort of all jumbled up and the text is all put together. So what I'm going to do is teach you how to format your blog posts really easily so they look great and they're really digestible not only to customers but to the search engines as well so the first thing I want to look at here is this is a great to uh, title for a blog post it's something someone would type into Google it's definitely relevant to the information on the page so that's a good start the next thing we want to do is look at subheadings now the cool thing is the headings are here they're just not formatted so what we're going to do is highlight the bit we want to turn into a heading come click on this little A and if you'll see if you hover over it it actually says formatting so we're going to click on that and turn that into a heading and what you'll notice if we cl click save here we'll be able to see this changes and sort of starts to break the information up the next step we're going to take is using the formatting from the HTML editor rather than adding our, in our own numbers and that's just going to mean that all these steps look much nicer because they'll be controlled by the website sort of stylization and it'll make those numbers look a lot more tidy so if we come here it says numbered list or there's bullet points if we click that and press save you're then going to see all of these numbers looking really nice and tidy here and that's just so much easier to read already someone can jump here and find out exactly what they need to know the next step is going to be coming down here and we're talking about the tides and the moon so we'll make that into a heading we might break this up just so it's a bit easier to read and we've got an important step there so we'll go and make that bold and then we've got some general information which we can put a heading and the last step is going to be putting a call to action at the end of the blog you've spent all this time and investment creating this blog post so what you want to make sure is you actually capitalize on that by sending the customer through to your website so what you'd want to do is add a call to action here and I prepared one earlier which I'm just going to grab, grab from over here and paste that in and if we press save then you'll see the end result here which is some great headings how to set up how to set up your tide clock tides in the moon, some general information to get people started and then of course if people are typing and asking about a tide clock they're probably going to want to purchase one if they don't have one so what we're going to do is throw in there that they can purchase one that you know reduce risk by saying yeah there's a warranty on it and here's how you find it so they get to the end of that blog and they go well what do I do next we've told them they click through they check out your stock and they're much more likely to buy so that's my tips on how to optimize your Shopify blog posts not only for the search engines but for customers to take them through the next step and also how to get things looking really nice and crisp on your Shopify site. This is Lucy from ecommercemarketing.co.nz if you need any help with Shopify e-commerce marketing uh, my team can do all sorts of things with development, or adding content, optimizing images and making blog posts search engine friendly. Uh, be sure to c come along to our blog and sign up for our newsletter so you can get more tips like this and I'll see you in our next tutorial. Thanks, bye.